Refugee athletes in Kenya in training for the International Association of Athletics Federation's World Championships in London in August. It's an historic occasion as it's the first time in the history of the event that refugees will participate. 19-year-old Ahmed Bashir Farah, a refugee from Somalia, will be competing in the 800 meters. Actually, all my best could at least qualify for this for the next stage. Ahmed and the four other refugees heading to London have also had the rare opportunity to train with Kenya's national athletes in the build-up to the championships, including the 800 meters world record holder and Olympic champion David Rudisha. Rudisha has just announced he won't be competing in London because of a muscle strain. But Ahmed says training with Kenya's world champions has boosted the confidence of the refugee team. You know, come on, I train to Cuba, my name, and I record holds my daughter Patayo Morali at Tata. Unadan at Tayo Monyon, the record holder, Juna train, I ate a Patayo Motisha. So, okay, and your race, I will get out a cool kit to do the Fanana to come out of Rudisha, the Fanana Mazes, I will give them a Kunaki to Oversu Tangana. 23-year-old Angelina Lohale from South Sudan will be running in the 1500 meters. She's a little less nervous than Ahmed because this is not the first time she's performed on the world sporting stage. Angelina ran in the Rio Olympics in 2016, the first time that refugees were permitted to participate in the history of the Games. I see myself competing one day, one time in a high level. Of course, right now I'm participating with the champion and now this is my time I have to polish my talent and to show people or the world that refugees they can make it. The athletes who will be competing under the athletes refugee team were selected for the London Championship after trials organized by the Tegla Larupe Foundation. Kenyan Tegla Larupe is a long distance running world record holder. Coach John Anzara says he's confident the athletes will do well in London. We have gone through paces, we have trained well uh, as far as I'm concerned, the team is ready and uh, we are only waiting for the gun. The athletes say they hope they'll perform well after training so hard.